everyone. So now we have finished week four for our reading and writing unit. And now we're going to move on to week five. So let's just quickly review what we learned last week. This should all look very familiar because this is the work we did last week. So we are in our ARC packet this week. It says ARC packet unit one up at the top here underneath your name. Um, and as always, please watch the videos before completing the lessons. Um, take a picture and add to your class JoJo portfolio. Um, okay, so last week we talked about the story elements. So let's go over those story elements quickly because this week we're going to be building on that. So our first story element here are characters. This is in your packet, so if you want to pull up this page in your packet to follow along, that'd be great. So this is characters. So let's go over our movement for characters. So characters, we have characters, personajes, who is the story about? So we're talking about who's in the story. Is it animals? Sometimes it could be people. It could even be food, like vegetables or fruits. Um, like our story, Spookly, that a lot of you enjoyed last year with Miss Karen in kindergarten. So. Characters can be anybody, whoever is in the story, who's talking, who's moving, who's acting out the story. And then our next story element here is setting. So let's practice setting. We have setting and scenario. Where does the story take place? When does the story take place? So setting, we have to think about where they are. Are they at the beach? Are they at school? Are they at home? Maybe they are going on a trip. Where are they? And also, when is it happening? Is it happening in the morning? Maybe they're having breakfast. Or is it happening at nighttime and it's dark outside and the moon's out and maybe they're getting ready for bed? What time of day is it? Sometimes that's very important in a story. Other times it might not be really included in the story and that's okay too. Um, for setting, we also talk about maybe what time of year is it? Is it snowing outside so that it would be winter? Are the flowers blooming in the spring? Are the leaves falling in the, in the fall or the autumn? Or is it really hot like the summertime? Those are also important to story. Those, that information is also important when we're listening and talking about stories. Uh, so our last story element here is events. So we have events, acontecimientos, what happens in the story? So that's just telling exactly that, what's happening. Maybe they got in the car, then they went to the store, and they got a snack, they ate their snack, and they went home. Maybe that's what happened. So that would be telling the events, what was going on. When we're talking about events, it's also very important to include the problem, oh no, the problem, and then the solution. How do they fix it? Like, phew, that is solved. How do they solve it? What's the solution? So those are our story elements that we will be working with again this week. So we practiced talking about these elements last, these story elements last week when we read our stories, peanut butter and jellyfish and Gilbert Goldfish wants a pet. So we practice breaking down a story and listing the parts. So now this week, we're gonna practice retelling. So when we retell a story, we wanna include all the story elements, which is why we practiced last week. And I have a rubric or like a checklist included in your packet, it's actually on the next page, to help you remember what to include so we don't forget anything. Um, and on that, I've also included some sentence starters, so some ways you can start your sentences when you're writing this down, because we will be writing our own retail as well. Ooh. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> Here we go. There we go, now it's back. Okay. Sorry, the mouse wasn't working for a second there. 
All right, so here is my retelling a story rubric, okay? Um, so I have it both in English and Spanish here for you, and I've also used the colors and the pictures that we practiced using when we broke it down for peanut butter and jellyfish and Gilbert goldfish. So we should be familiar with the pictures and the colors. This is also just to help us remember all the parts. So when we retell a story, we're gonna start by listing who the characters are, okay? Do you see how I have the head here? Like when we do our hand movements, characters. So I have the characters are, this is the top line here in English, and then the bottom line is in Spanish, los personajes son. And you would list who the characters are. So, for example, if we were talking about, I'm looking for the book, oh here it is. If we were talking about Gilbert Goldfish, we would say the characters are Gilbert, um, the fly, the mouse, the dog, and the catfish. So that's how we would explain this part of the story. Then the next sentence when retelling is going to be about the setting. And we're going to say and write the setting is, and we're going to talk about the setting. So you'd say the setting is in Gilbert's fishbowl and in the house, right? Because Gilbert doesn't go outside in our story. He stays in his fishbowl inside the house. Um, and then the second section, again, is in um, Spanish. El Encenario es. And then we have the problem. So we would write, the problem is, in this story, the problem is Gilbert wants a pet. And then down here we have, the solution is, the solution is, Gilbert tries a lot of different animals until he finally gets a catfish, which is the perfect pet. So we, use, we can use this checklist to help us remember to include our characters, our setting, our problem, and our solution. Okay? And I'm just gonna explain quickly a little bit about the work this week. So this is our first job and it's going to be retelling a story, and that'll be our new story here, uh, The Dog Who Cried Wolf. And so we will be writing about all the different parts. And so I've included the parts here for you with the colors and our picture to help us remember, and I've also included the sentence starters here for you to trace, okay? So yeah, the characters are, the setting is, the problem is, and the solution is, okay? So we'll break it down and we'll do all of these parts. And don't worry, I'm gonna help you. And then the second thing we're going to do this week is to create your own story, okay? And I have included the directions here. And again, I'll help you as well. It'll be another video. Um, it says create your own story. Include characters, setting, a problem, and a solution. Underline each part with the corresponding color. So you're gonna make your own story up and then you're gonna go back and use our rubric, which you have up here. And you're gonna underline all of those parts in your story. But like I said, I'll include another video going into a lot more detail, okay? So don't worry. Alrighty, so this week, make sure you really practice retelling your story and don't forget, as always, to send me some pictures so I can see all of the great work you guys are doing. You guys are doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Bye.